Family, friends, and colleagues all came together this afternoon to remember St. Croix County Deputy Katie Lysing. A funeral and law enforcement procession was held just a few hours ago for the 29-year-old killed on the job last weekend. Lysing is being remembered as a loving wife and mother and a dedicated deputy whose positive attitude was infectious. We have team coverage tonight. Kaya will share how Deputy Lysing was remembered during the service at Hudson High School. And Gordon will share how she was honored along the procession. Let's begin with Kaya. Hundreds of people packed the auditorium and hundreds more watched as Lysing's funeral was live streamed online. In addition to sharing memories of her, some commented on the state of working in law enforcement today. From a young age, Katie knew she wanted to go into law enforcement. At her funeral Friday, St. Croix Deputy Katie Lysing is described as a hero, protector, a compassionate person with edge. She relished in time spent on all things Harry Potter, watching crime shows and cheering on the Denver Broncos, despite it putting strain on her marriage with her Packer loving wife. Her closest family and friends didn't speak, but law enforcement leaders shared messages and memories on their behalf. It's not goodbye. I'm saying it. See you later. With love to my hero, Dad. P.S. The secret chili ingredient was brown sugar, not cinnamon. <laughs> Those she served with shared their own stories as well. Katie's test results were the highest I've witnessed. I know that I could pass up anyone to Katie that was angry or otherwise non-compliant during the arrest. By the time I met her at the jail to drop them off, they'd be calmed down and usually smiling. That's what she did. That was Katie. They also shared a message for fellow law enforcement during this difficult time. Write down all the reasons it's not worth it. All the bad things that can happen, write it down and crumple it up, throw it in the garbage and get back out there. Now more than ever, our communities need good cops. We need good people. We are good people. And for too long, we've been pushed back in the corner. And that has to stop because our communities need us. They want good people. They want people like Katie. Katie has taught us how law enforcement should be. Earlier this year, Lysing became a mom to her son, Siler. Again, she was 29 years old. Within the last two hours, there was another huge showing of support for the fallen officer and her family. Gordon Severson joins us now live with highlights from the procession that followed the funeral. Gordon. Yeah, we're here just off of 11th Street, which is about three miles from Hudson High School. The, the procession went right by here. I'd say the first squad car we saw at about 3.20 this afternoon. The last one was about 4.05. So about 45 minutes, hundreds of squad cars from across the Midwest. There was also dozens of community members out here on the sidewalk with us, waving, having flags, uh, showing their support. We also saw a lot of support outside Hudson High School this afternoon uh, with lots of community members out there waving to officers as they rolled in and parked into the uh, into the parking lot there. Uh, all of the sidewalks were filled with people waving and greeting them. We did re uh, run into one woman that had these uh, heart shaped stones that she made. She wanted to put one on each of the squad cars in the parking lot. I think law enforcement needs all the support they can get these days because of everything that they're going through. They need some support the way things have been going in this country. It's been a rough time these last few years. And we are also seeing a lot of support across the community here in Hudson. Everywhere you go, there are these blue ribbons that are tied around trees and signposts. They're just scattered across town. We're also seeing a lot of blue balloons and signs. I'm, I'm told that the uh, procession, as it was going through town, uh, one of the sheriffs here told me that uh, a couple of the family members were planning to be on the route. They wanted to watch the procession. They wanted to see every squad car as it passed by them. Back to you in the studio. And I'm sure that show of support meant so much to them during a time like this. Gordon, thank you. We'll stay with CARE 11 for continuing coverage. We'll have live reports with more community reaction coming up at 6 and at CARE11.com.